What's up, guys? It's your girl, Tanya, and welcome to Katora Tarot. Guys, please like, share, and comment. Please subscribe to the channel. Anything you'd like to know about me and this channel will be down in the description below. Also, I do this for entertainment purpose only, so please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. I also like you to know that no weapon formed against me shall never, ever prosper. I am protected by the Most High God and my team of spiritual warriors of the highest light. My ancestors don't play about me. So please, for your safety, don't try it. On that note, I'd like to call in your warriors, my warriors, and the Most High God to this reading so I could get clear, accurate channel messages. Please and thank you. What's up, guys? <laughs> How y'all doing? Um, I was told to do a reading and use this deck. So let's see what Spirit want us to know. What questions Spirit is trying to ask us. Or I don't know what they have for us. I do have um, a hell of a lot of downloads that I do want to do. But they said to do this first. So let's see what they want us to know. What's the question? We are, <clears throat> sorry, where you are right now is where you are supposed to be. Don't compare yourself to others. That's That only adds pressure. Take each day as it comes and for what it is. You are a better person than you were yesterday. Growth isn't easy, but you've got this. So... I hope y'all ain't out here comparing yourself to nobody. You know, because that's what it's looking like. Y'all comparing yourself. You are unique, different, awesome individual, awesome soul. There's no other like you. So there's no need for you to compare yourself to others. Because what you may not see in yourself, others see it. So don't doubt you. Trust and believe in you. Don't doubt yourself. Real talk. You got this. You got this. It's not easy, but you got this. You know? God promised that you will have it. He never promised that it will be easy. You just take it slow. Take each day, day at a time. You know? Make a list. If you accomplish everything on the list, kudos. If you don't, you know, conquer it. As you go on, what you don't conquer, you add it on to another day. But don't stress yourself. You know, it's a marathon, people. It's not a race. Sometimes walking away is the only option. Not because you want to make someone miss you or realize they took you for granted, but because you finally respect yourself enough to know you deserve better. Mm. Boy, if that one don't hit deep. You know, a lot of us don't know our wealth. Uh, him, our wealth. <laughs> our worth. A lot of us don't know, or should I say, a lot of us at once upon a time in our lives, we didn't know our, our worth. We are just trying to figure it out. We are trying to, you know, please the next person and not pleasing ourselves, and when it comes to ourselves, we be so goddamn hard on ourselves, but yet still, you know, sorry guys, one second, Whew. okay, sorry about that, <laughs> um, what I was saying, Basically, don't compare yourself to nobody. Trust that you deserve nothing but the best for you. You are enough. Never doubt that. And if a person treats you any less than, then that's not the person for you. That's not the person you need to be around, you know. We fight and fight and fight and fight and fight and so goddamn hard to hold on to an individual that God, your ancestors, your spiritual team is telling you, let go of that person. They got better for you. But you being stubborn, not listening, and now 
they're going to be dragged through the mud. You don't want to be dragged through the mud. Or this person, somebody's being dragged through the mud by your ancestors because they're not listening. They want what they want, when they want it, how they want it, and it is what it is. And that's not how this thing called life works where the spirit is involved. Because as much as you may think you need something, want something, if it's not for you in your alignment, your team, the Most High will not release it to you. So all the kicking and screaming and fighting and, and, and crying and stuff, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing somebody crying and just being selfish and refuse to understand what's going on in their life just because they want what they want when they want it and how they want it and it's not playing out that way so they're making it harder on themselves it's like they somebody's having a hard time and they don't even need to have a hard time they need to just let go and trust god let go and let spirit let them do this they got this they want to do it they trying to do it but you're putting yourself in a crossfire who is this person you're putting yourself in a crossfire that's not for you. It's like you want to be attached to some type of karma that that karma is not even for you. But by you being so stubborn and hard-headed, you're going to end up being a part of that, that karma that's trying to be served. Somebody's trying, is, is, is trying to get, is, somebody's being served a hell of a lot of karma right now. And they have somebody with them. I'm picking up a third person. Maybe it could be a couple. It could be a couple that refuse to separate at this time. And the sad thing about it is, if you're not going to listen to spirit or do what spirit is asking you to do for your greater self, for your higher self, for, you, for your growth, for you, you know... It, <laughs> It must and will happen. That's all I'm going to say. It must and it will happen. And it's not going to be nice. It's not going to feel good. Because they was trying to lead you to do it however you wanted to do it. Okay. This is a lot, guys. Roll with it. <laughs> this is not for everybody, clearly. But somebody is being very defined. They're not trying to listen to nobody. It's a couple this couple needs to go their own way, but they're fighting to stay together. But it's not like a healthy type of fight. It's like they fighting each other's spirits, ancestors, other people, ancestors. One of the one of the two in that relationship, some type of karma is coming for them, and it's hard. It's a it's a hard lesson. But the second person. Just don't want to let go of this of, of their person. They want to be up under them 24-7. And the thing, the thing about that is they can't. This person is willing to be homeless just to be with this person. They're not thinking clearly. They're not using their head, their senses. They're not nothing like neither one of them. They on some Bonnie and Clyde 2003 Jay-Z and Beyonce type of shit. I the fuck am I picking up? <laughs> mm. Oh, wow. I need some ice. <laughs> Whatever, whoever these people are, this couple. They need to walk away from each other. And it's not like walking away to break up at that, what I'm picking up. It could be, it can be that because I've seen it both ways. But they just, it's like they don't have nowhere to go. No means to an end together as a couple. But separately the sky is beyond the limit. They will be able to see a way out, but they refuse to see the way out if they're not together, if that makes sense. So by not listening to the inner, inner guidance, they accomplish their intuition. They know, they feel, they hear, they smell, they taste, they dream, they feel. They know that they need to go to, <laughs> you know, but they feel like the, the, the universe, the world is going up against them. And it's like, 
<laughs> you my boo, I'm your boo, I don't care what, who, who, what, where, and when, whoever, whatever says anything, we going to stick to that, stick together and it's nothing nobody could do or say and they're going to try their hardest to separate and no matter what we got to do we're going to stick together if we got to be homeless together then we're going to be homeless together if we're going to go to the hospital and lay up in the hospital we're going to go to the hospital and lay up in the hospital together if we're going to jail we're going to go to jail together this is the energy i'm picking up i don't know who this couple is but it's very sad because Universe is about to teach them a very, very, very cruel and brutal lesson because it's not a bad thing. The sad thing about it, what they don't see is by them going their own way, not to break up people, but go, go live your life and do what you got to do over here to sustain you and us. And I will do the same thing over here because for whatever reason, forces that they're not seeing is trying to pull them apart for the for the better of both of them. But they don't see it in that light. They see it in the light of, oh, everybody's against them. And no matter what, we're going to stick together. If nobody want to accommodate us, then we're going to, you know, we're going to be on a, we could sleep at a bus stop at a park. You know, we could go to a gym and go get a, 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 and take a shower at the gym if they're not going to let us in into their space is what I'm picking up. They don't want to let go. They thinking everybody is going against them because they want to see them breaking up. So they naive, stubborn, unruly asses really think this dumb, whack shit. Like, really? And they really think they're going to be fine and they on some 2024 Bonnie and Clyde, but that shit is about to be... <laughs> life is about to life for them. Like, literally. They about... Because they not listening. They want to be... Stuff to be handed to them and done to them the hard way. So, if that's what you're projecting, if that's what you're telling the universe that you want, then the universe will and shall deliver that energy to you that you're seeking so bad since you want to refuse of going your own way and building separately so that y'all can come back together and build as a whole. Because going forward, for the two of them to be together, that it's not going to work. It, they are not in alignment together right now. Right now, lessons needs to be learned on both parties individually and the why they're learning the lessons in spirit and God is working on them individually apart because together they're so toxic that they can't they don't they don't see reason they don't understand nothing but them so God the most high God want to separate them so that they could learn and do what they need to do for each other and then come back together if it's destined for them to be together they will be together but let me tell you something, you a whole human down here. I want to know how the hell you think what you want, how you want, going to play with the most high when the most high is doing this. The most high is separating this because certain lessons ain't being learned. Certain, certain, they, it's like this couple was put in position to have some greatness, you know, come to them. But they did something very, very wrong that pissed the gods off, that pissed ancestors off, that's his spirit off, piss the universe off, that now karma is going, it's knocking at their door already, it already started for them, whoever this couple is, they, mm, a blessing was poured onto them, and they took that blessing and threw it back in the most high face, so now, if they don't move accordingly to their team, how their team want them to move, which they're not doing it. They're really being stubborn because they think the, the world is against them and everybody's against them and nobody want to see them together. They really, 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 really on God. They really not seeing the logic in separating. They really don't understand. They're going to spend money that they don't need to spend. They're going to spend money that they don't have to spend. They're going to be doing all kinds of menial shit because they don't want to listen because they got to be together and they can't be apart because it's a big, bad world. And if we're not together, you know, if I can't protect you and you can't protect me, then, then you know, we, we might die. This is the mentality. This is so child's play. Like, dog, my goddamn teenager son had better sense than this. What the hell is this I'm picking up? Mm. 
I wasn't expecting this. Somebody being very hard-headed and stubborn. And they're about to be dealt with, said Spirit. The thing is, what I'm hearing is, Spirit wanted them to go their own way because they have, and they will, and they must, because what? The Most High God assigns certain spirits to them, and Spirit ain't trying to disappoint God in no formal way. So if they got to be on a certain time level doing this and doing that at a certain period of time, and it's impossible for them to do it together, they're going to have no choice but to go their own way because what's happening now is karma is repeating itself. They didn't learn some type of lesson. I feel this couple is calm, it's a karmic couple that traveled from past life together, died prematurely, excuse me, died prematurely in a past life, reincarnated together in this lifetime to come together at this time, at whatever time they got together to do this whole cycle of bullshit nonsense ain't thinking all over again. They never got it. They never got it past life or the life before that. For some of, for some of them, it's multiple lifetimes. They've been in the same karmic cycle. They won't let go of each other so that they could grow individually. Because at the end of the day, you can't die together. You could die in the same day, yes, but you came into this world by yourself. You will leave this world by yourself. Hell, both of y'all die in the same day and God decides to wake one of y'all to fuck back up. N now what? What you going to do then? Both of y'all assuming y'all going to do everything together, including death, including dying together. Now y'all died together, but God came through. The Most High came through because nothing that the Most High could do does not exist. Okay? So now God said, you know what? I'm going to give you another chance. Bing! Woke you the fuck up and continue. Leave this one right here dead. But I'm going to give you the second chance. What are you going to do then? And that's what Spirit is trying to, for you to realize. This couple needs to realize. Together right now, it's not a smart thing. No matter how unknown it look, scary it look, that is called an unknown for a reason. Of course, it's going to look st scary and you don't want to go that route because you don't know what's to come, how you're going to maneuver it, if you're going to maneuver it. We get that. That's why it's called a leap of faith. You got to be able to trust God. You got to be able to trust your team that they have nothing but utmost respect and love for you, that they guiding you. Look, they're not out here trying to guide you wrong, do you wrong. Them the only, look, let me tell you something. Nobody outside of you is going to be 100 with you, okay? Because even the $100 bills, faces be changing up. How many different $100 bills we done got over the years? So not even a $100 bill. Keep it 100. That's what I'm saying. Your spiritual team that's signed to you? That's what 100 is. They want nothing but, a, that's your best friend. They want nothing but love for you. They want nothing but growth for you. But if you're going to continue to needing a lesson to learn in life, they're going to allow that lesson to be learned. People, you know, people are trying to educate you and be, but you're stubborn. Somebody's highly stubborn. They want what they want. I'm not going to stop saying that because that's the energy I'm picking up. They like telling not even God could separate them. This is the mentality, the energy I'm picking up. Not even God could separate them. This is that. This is what they really dreaming, walking, thinking, breathing, pissing, shitting, all about. Not even God could separate them. This is, you know, and the thing about it is one person feel that way, right? The other person is clinging on for dear life for the person because that person don't have nowhere to go. So this part, they, this relationship is all that they have. 
that they see that they have in this world. They don't got no mama, no daddy, no sister, no brother, no uncle, no auntie, no cousin, no, no friends, no nothing, but this one relationship. So now this person, I get it. You feel scared and everything. The one person, the one relationship, you don't have none of them things I learned. No mama, no daddy, no sisters, no brothers, no aunties, no uncles, no grandparents, no one, no friends, nobody you could turn to for nothing but this one relationship and now that relationship is being tested at its highest peak that had ever been tested before and y'all are failing because y'all refuse to let go of each other and trust god if this is destined for y'all to be together y'all will if not then y'all won't and the quicker you realize it the less more painful this situation will be because who's to say, as soon as y'all go y'all separate ways, God is going to bless y'all individually to the point where y'all come together. You don't even know if it's a week, a month, or a year of separation. You feel me? You don't know. But y'all just assuming because y'all not trusting God. Where's the faith? God asks for just a little bit of mustard seed of faith. And y'all can't give this Y'all can't give it to God, so how do y'all think our relationship will last if God is not even in the relationship? I don't know, I'm just saying. I'm thinking of that. These people is not an atheist. They believe in God. They believe in the Most High, but they don't trust the Most High. And that leads me to say, how do you believe in the Most High if you can't even trust the Most High? Because if you believe in the Most High, then it's, it's like undeniable that you trust the Most High to do as the Most High shall do with or without your your opinion your, you know i'm not gonna i'm not gonna say your opinion don't matter where god is concerned but it is free will and all you know but stuff will be played out because i'm hearing that it can't go another lifetime like this you must and will learn the lessons in this lifetime yeah i feel like the teams is trying coming together to team up to stop this couple because they're not, they being so hard-headed, selfish, unruly, greedy, sneaky, deceitful. This is the energy I'm picking up, people. So I'm just like naming them, you know, desperate, fiending. I've seen somebody fiending like a fiend, like fiending for, I don't know, drugs, maybe, alcohol, maybe. I don't know. It's some type of sex, some type of fiend going on. <laughs> they not listening. Why? I, you know, people, boy. What is it this one? They not listening at all, no? What's going on with this? With this couple? They... They refuse to see nobody's point of view, even if they see that the whatever the people the per people that they're going to talking and sharing their dilemma with is telling everybody's saying the same thing, and everybody can't be talking the same story, and they don't even know each other. So therefore, if they coming up, if different people saying the same thing to you, there's some type of truth to it. You really have to evaluate the situation, pull back, and be like, damn, we got to go our own ways. That's the only way out. Y'all have to go so that y'all could come back together. Y'all not even trusting y'all own relationship to say if y'all go y'all own way, y'all going to trust each other to come back, and it's going to be beautiful. Y'all don't even trust each other. That's that's what that is. It ain't even God. It ain't even all about God. That's, I knew it was something else. I knew. I'm like, what is this I'm picking up? Uh, and it's a male energy. This energy is really afraid right now and holding on for dear life. And, 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 and want to just want what they want when they want it. And they desperate. This, this energy is very desperate and doing desperate moves. And also at the same time trying to be strategic with the with these moves. Because this person is sneaky and very deceitful. And just just deceitful, dishonest. That's a very dishonest person. But portrayed to be this upright, you know, 
um, person that, you know, yeah, a circumstance. This person see themselves as a circumstance. I, you know, I got fucked up. My mom this, my mom that, my mom did this, did that. And I never healed from it, never grew from it. And I go around people telling everybody what my mom did and not willing to grow, heal, or nothing from it. Just looking for sympathy so I could get somewhere to lay my head or I could get something, somebody to uh, give me some food or something. That's what this person is living on. And this person has a relationship and he's just leaning on that relationship so this person is afraid if the relationship goes a different way this person go out of their eyesight for far too long this person feel that like they can't survive without this other person because this this is all they know have they feel that this is all they have i feel like it even go deeper than that is what i'm picking up hmm hmm Yeah. yeah, that's what it is. This person don't trust not even a relationship. They, How could you truly trust that your significant other if you can't even trust the process of y'all going y'all separate ways? Y'all relationships are being tested and you're feeling miserable. Miserably, miserable, you know what I'm trying to say. You're feeling you 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 portraying like you you don't trust nobody. Everybody else is trying to go against you, but that's not what that is. You know that's easy for to say to make it seem like oh you don't want us together. Telling the next person, see, watch everybody try to get us get get go against us and trying to you know separate us. But no matter what, babe, we're gonna stick together. You know Bonnie and Clyde, like bad girl and bad boy for life. That's like the fuck energy I'm picking up right now. What the fuck? Shit, that's what pissed me off. I'm calm down, but what kind of whack ass? Like, this is so unattractive, very unattractive in a dude, y'all. Like, ew. Like, stand on your two feet and go get a fucking job, yo. Go door to door, knock on the doors, and ask somebody, can you clean their fucking um yard yard for them or wash their car or something. You up here holding this relationship, this girl hand, don't want to let go of her for the dear life, putting all your fear into her where she is believing that the fear is her. This is an empath and a, and a freaking nonsense story right here. This is what I'm picking up right now. You got this narcissistic male that don't have nothing going for themselves but their mouth. And, 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 and the stories of what their mom did to them at birth, six years old, I'm seeing 10 years old, and then I'm seeing when you turn 18, mom kicked you out with that blink in the eye, just threw you out to the world, ain't prepare you for nothing, absolutely nothing. So now you got this relationship, this is all you have, and instead of trusting a relationship... So that y'all could go y'all ways, go grow and build and learn what y'all got to learn and everything individually, and then come back together later on as a whole. You don't even trust that. So how do you really trust that relationship? How do you really love that person? It's not love. This is not love. This is on some fatal attraction shit. This is on some narcissistic shit. I got to have control. If, if I'm not around this person, I can't control them to do what I want. I can't manipulate the shit out of them. This is the only, this is all I have, this last person. And I'm going to use it or that person to the best of my value because I'm, I'm going to use this person sexually. So I'm seeing sex magic is being done in there. So this person is very educated on some stuff. You know, they're young, but... They practicing on this relationship. So this so this female in this relationship had not a clue that her her significant other is using her energy, draining her, can't survive without her because he's a fucking narcissist that drains and pry on people. This shit is probably an abusive relationship where the motherfucker is putting his motherfucking hands on her. And she don't know she don't know no better. She's scared and shit. So she's trying to jump around hoops and circle through for this motherfucker. And this motherfucker don't deserve her. He just fucking using her to swipe her fucking energy. Because being the, 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 the narcissist that he is, this is how they survive. They can't survive, 
you know, or if nothing, no, nothing else. They need an empath energy to truly level up and succeed at anything, absolutely anything. So this is how they prime. Then they suck that individual self-esteem. This person don't know who they are. They don't know their self-worth. They don't love they self. They loving the other person more than they love they self. And that's, that's the fucking narcissistic plan. One of many of their plans to do. See, look. <laughs> Trying to mess with my voice. I work for the most high God, no one else. So this message will come out. <clears throat> This person is using her in the process. This person, and, and since everybody's against this person, they they flipping it to say, see, they don't want us together. Everybody's against me and everything. I ain't even doing that. I'm hearing somebody not even taking accountability for so their action of why they actually are truly in this. I'm seeing somebody blaming everybody, their mama, their sister, their brother, their uncle. It's everybody fucking fault, but they own why they're in the predicament that they're in. And not even nobody, whether it's the mama, daddy, sister, uncle, cousin, twice removed, friend, whoever, nobody wants to take this person in. The only person going to put up with this person bullshit is this girl. And that's because he's working magic on her. He's doing spell works on her. He's dick riding her. He's fucking grinding her out using spell work so that you know sex, sex magic is just one of the strongest powers on the face of this fucking planet. So he's utilizing it to the, his best of his whack ass knowledge. Because he really can't survive without being a fucking energy vampire. Real talk. And she has a lot of supply because she's an empath. Her blood, <laughs> who she's from, her bloodline, she has a, she's very powerful and don't even know how powerful he is. That motherfucker, he knows how powerful, or if you don't know exactly how powerful, he feel her, the power on a spiritual level. That's why he's draining her. And they acting like he don't know nothing, like he dumbfounded of everything, like he's so fucking evil. That's a fucking evil genius right there, if you think about it. You manipulating everybody, making every using sad stories from when you was a little kid. All right, grow the fuck up already. Go heal yourself. Go to a motherfucking psychiatrist and go sit on a fucking couch and get over your mom and daddy problems. The fuck? No, you want to come and suck somebody else dry. The only person that got your motherfucking back, you want to suck them dry till there's nothing left of them just because you're afraid to stand up and be a fucking man. All you got is fucking mouth, but you don't got no motherfucking actions to back that fucking mouth up. And if you one of them that I'm also picking up, that's also abusing this um, impact that you are physically, you a fuck nigga, real talk. And death await your motherfucking ass. You a fuck nigga. I said that. You a weak ass, whack ass motherfucker. Praying on that, on this one girl that, that. You don't need, it ain't even fucking true love because you got this fucking girl all clouded in the head and shit like that. Not letting her off the hook because she play a role in this shit too. But I'm just talking about him right now. This is a real fucked up, screwed up individual. And very smart on top of that. But portray like they don't have no fucking sense. Like they don't know what they doing. They know what the fuck they doing. Wicked son of a bitch. They know what they doing. I'm telling you. The karma that waits for them. Hmm. 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 No, them motherfuckers don't like to be embarrassed and don't like nobody to laugh at them. What your karma do to their ass? They gonna feel it in one of the most hurtful way ever. And every fucking hit you put on that girl. All that. The, the, the fucking spirits ain't sleep. They seen it all. You put abusing this girl because... You, you can't control your motherfucking self. Like, you don't have a pot to piss in. But you had a motherfucking nurse to raise them little motherfucking hands to slap somebody. To, not, 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 not. Correction. 
This motherfucker punch. Who is am I picking up? This person is punching this girl left and right, leaving bruises. Even gave her a black eye that she's trying to cover up with fucking makeup. They're mirroring each other. This girl don't even know how strong her power is. She's mirroring this narcissist. This empath really don't know how powerful this narcissist is. She has an idea, but she really don't have a clue. That idea is just a, a, a glimpse. It's beyond. This person is very powerful, but try to portray themselves as not being powerful. They need to they need a mirror. They need to reflect on that person so that person will feel sorry for them and be with them because they, they low-key are fucking afraid. They fucking bullies, yo. They low-key fucking fraidy cat, yo. Scaredy cat. However you say that fuck shit. That's what the fuck they are. They fucking scaredy cat. Trying to act hard. I see somebody acting hard like they got it together and know everything, what they need to know, and trying to school motherfuckers. You can't school me, you whack ass motherfucker. I see right through your ass. This person is scared shitless, but because of who they is and how they portray themselves in front of everybody, they got a facade to put up, an image to put, you know, to keep. They don't want to see, they don't want nobody to see that they really scared as fuck because they don't know where they're going and how to get to nowhere. They don't have no one on their side. And the one person that they have on their side, all they know how to do is, is abuse them. Whether it's physically, psychically, physically, mentally, shit. Is there a way to say moneyly? Because I feel like this person is coming out of her pocket for him. This empath is coming out her pot is coming out their pockets for this fucking narcissist. They think they love them, but they, they have not a clue. This is not love. This is possession. This person see this, 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 this narcissist see this empath as they possession. Do what I say when I say it, how I say it. This empath is afraid of this narcissist. Hmm. So not only are you making them do stuff by manipulating them and doing all kinds of fucking behind the scenes magic in your head and shit like that. Doing all kinds of shit that nobody would suspect is you. You also put fear in them for you. And you think this is love? You think they love you? They fucking afraid of you. Whatever you threaten them with, they don't want it to happen to them. So they're going to work. Abide, do what you say, no matter how much is killing them inside, no matter how much is hurting their loved ones. You have that fear in them that they would disobey their loved ones just for you because you put some type of fear in this empath. And she's scared shitless. Just because you are afraid shitless. So you put it in her to be afraid shitless. You see, the problem is, she actually has somewhere to go. She's only with you because she, she don't want nothing bad to happen to you. You put all this crap inside of her. So it's like she, it's, it's, it's a fucking soul ties. That's what I'm picking up. Damn motherfucking ties is toxic as fuck. Soul ties? Hmm. Damn shit is toxic than a motherfucker. It's hard to get out of them fucking shit. Because you don't even need to be in their presence to even communicate with them. You gotta, you gotta love yourself enough and choose you and put you first. This person probably give you the bare minimum just to make you feel love. Don't want to totally be a, a, a shithead or look to the outer world as a shithead. They want to be able to say, yeah, I got her this, I got this, I got this. Or it could be him, I got him this, her that, whatever. But I'm picking up the male is the narcissist and the female is the empath. And I feel like he give her the bare minimum and she go overboard for him. It's like, 
going to, it's like she shop at, like, I don't know what, City Trend, Walmart or something like that. And he go to, like, Polo, Gucci and shit like that to go shop. It's, that's not balanced, people. I wouldn't give a fuck. That's not balanced. And she, she like, oh, I'm so grateful. Thank you. Look what my baby did for me. Oh, that's so cute. I'm like, oh, $2. That's not bad. Oh, he got that fly shirt. How much is his? $2,000? Oh, okay. So, I'm just saying. That's what I'm feeling. My son laughing at me. I don't know why he laughing. I just give him the message to say go with some advice. I'm going to try to describe what it is that I'm seeing. He cracking up, y'all. Hell no. Shoot. It's just sad. Nothing more want to come at this back. Yeah. His mirror, he, yeah, they're mirroring each other. That's why she's acting like that. It's not her energy, it's his. It's his. It's his energy. It's not hers. She doesn't even realize that. That's why she's operating and on snap mode for no reason. It's so defensive because it's not your energy. And you don't know how to handle it because you think it's yours, but it's not really yours. And then the fucked up part about it is you don't even know. It was yours and what's the other person or nothing, you know, because you haven't been practicing your, your magic, if you even know about your magic. Well, you know about your magic, but this person keep you on their toes for them that you can't even focus on yourself. You, yeah, you don't have a minute to yourself. If you do have a job, you go to work, but as soon as you come in, you got to be up underneath this person. You can't go nowhere without this person. This is what the person did. This is how they tied you to them. See, this is pissing me off. Because now I'm seeing somebody in the spirit world tying somebody up. I'm seeing this couple. One of them literally is tying the other person to them in the spirit world. Do you know when that plays out in the physical world how this person will be so fucking addicted to the person? Holding on to the, for their life? That's what's happening. Remember in the beginning of this shit, I was saying, I see like this person is just fighting for their life just to hold on or be attached to this person. Now, Spirit is showing me somebody in the spirit world, this couple. One, one know about it, obviously the other one don't know because they literally under a spell. In the spirit world, tying themselves, this person to them. So, they can't go nowhere it's all in the spirit before it happened in the physical. So if you're thinking everything happened to you first was playing out in the physical first, you're wrong. It already happened. That's why it's a thing called deja vu or I could have swore or stuff like that. That's because it did happen. Because everything happened in the spirit world before it happened in the physical world. So wherever they move about, he's tying her to him in the spirit. So no matter where she goes, she could only go so far. You know what I'm getting? You know the motherfucking leeches and white people? No offense, I, I love white people and I have white people in my pocket, in my family. Don't come for my videos. But you know how them white people, how, you know, be putting them leashes on their kids and shit when they go in the mall or the park like they motherfucking dogs and shit or fucking animals and shit? This is what I'm saying. This is how this motherfucker is attaches her ass to his in the spirit so she can only go but so far in the physical away from him. This is going to be a hard one for this person to just, this person can't just get up and walk away. It's not going to be this person tied them so to this person in the spirit. You got to undo that in the spirit before it could happen in the physical. So you fighting against them in the, in the physical, it means nothing, absolutely nothing, because they're tied in the spirit. He knows what he's doing. I, I kept saying that in the beginning. This person is giving a facade like he don't have a clue on, on these things, these spiritual things, or he got, you know, the bare minimum, the bare basic knowledge. He probably like, edu like elementary school, like, Elementary school magic, that's what he knows, not realizing he truly know college grads, you know, bachelors and shit like that, you know, degree in this shit, but making everybody think he only have a, a fucking second grade level on the spiritual shit, not knowing that he a college graduate with a bachelor in the spiritual shit.
<laughs> it's gonna be hard for this person to get away. This person gotta pray and call God and call her team and give them permission to sit around in their spirit world and whoop his whoop his motherfucking ass. Like whoop his ass good. Set his ass in a motherfucking circle with all the ancestors surrounding this motherfucker and they have a fucking stick and they just turn, turn whooping this motherfucking ass. Whoop, 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 whoop on some other shit. Damn wicked. Oh, scaredy cat punk. How you got all this motherfucking mouth? But you, you're afraid to go, to go survive life without this individual. You tie this person to you in a, in a fucking spirit. Do you know how hard it is for this person to even try to do anything in the physical because of what you did to them in the spirit? This person's life is about to go left because of this bullshit. Because you're afraid. You give out the facade that you're a hardcore nigga, everybody afraid of you, and you like that shit. You want everybody to be intimidated by your little whack ass. Not low kid, you scared shitless. Wish you could go up underneath of a rock and never come out. That's how afraid you are. I'm done. I'm done. Let me get a car. This person is supposed to be have multiple streams, I'm, but I'm not getting like a job in a way. I feel like multiple streams of spirit guides and ancestors around. Just they just need want a thought, just form a thought of help in some form of way is what they, cause you know free will and all. They just can't jump in and you know, cause your soul signed up for certain lessons. So I feel like it's multiple ways to get out of this situation. Remember I was saying earlier, that's what this is. I was saying earlier, it's going to be hard. I don't, I, I'm not going to say I don't see it. Cause again, with God, nothing that can't happen does not exist. You feel me? But I would say it's going to be, a, it's going to be super hard for this person to get away from this person because that's when they show me the vision of this person tying themselves to this individuals so they could only go so fucking far from them, like say to work or to school, but they back to them, then, you know, that's it. Work, school, maybe the gym, maybe the store, maybe to run errands, but that's it. Saying you want to go on a vacation or out of town somewhere. Yeah, it. this person gonna wanna go, but then out of the blue, just gonna, just gonna turn like, man, I wanna go, but eh, I wanna go, but I um, something in me just is like, nah, let me just stay behind. And there go the problem there. It's like she's fighting to be her own, but something unknown to her is telling her not to bother with that, with that thought pattern of trying to go out and have fun or out of, you know, out of town or out of country or something, because this person can't come. Because of how they tied himself to her. To, to, uh, he tied himself to her. She could only go but a short distance. Like I said, maybe to work. Maybe to somebody's house that they know. Or school. A job. That's it. They can't go too far from this person. They did some wickedness. And, and tell me, karma kept up with this person? And karma... Set it up to where you're going to have no choice but to deal with it. Or continue on this roller cycle. And it's just going to be so fucking hard. You won't, you really ain't going to see how to get your ass out of that. You better make whatever wrong you did right. You holding somebody against their will. This, this girl do not know that she's tied to this person. All because this punk motherfucker is afraid. Because they don't know what's to come. They can't see on the other side. And if they see, they can only see what's so far.
They so fucking cocky. I'm getting a cocky energy. They're thinking they won. But they thinking they're making this person um, suffer, by, suffer by being with them so that whoever is on her side will feel sorry for her and let her in. But by letting her in, it's also letting him in. And you ain't trying to let him in. But you will love her enough to let her ass go and figure this motherfucker out because you will be there. You ain't going to let this motherfucking weasel weasel you out of your anything because you see what the fuck he doing. You will love and trust spirit enough and God enough to know they got this shit and won't compromise your own belief, your own worth, your own peace for anybody. Uh, yeah, this person is trying to, like, if you, okay, come back home. I'm seeing somebody saying, come back home, come. This person could come back home, but they can't come back home by themselves. It has to be with this person. I don't know what happened, but this person can't go nowhere without this person. That's because, like I said, they tied himself. To, he tied himself to her in the spirit world, so she can't go nowhere without him. So no matter all the fussing and fighting and arguing going on, to separate them, it's not going to happen because this person did some bullshit in the spirit to make sure it don't happen. Hence why I say this motherfucker is smarter than, than niggas give credit to because they know what the fuck they doing. They act like they don't know what they doing, but they know what the fuck they doing. Because who the fuck think to do some fuck shit like that? A newbie? Who the hell, if you new to this spiritual shit... Like, seriously, speak about it if you know about it. Comment down below. You new to the spiritual shit. Spell right. The, all this stuff going on in the spiritual world. And your thought or pattern is going to be, oh, let me tie this person to me. I, I, I just don't see it. This person did that for selfish reasons to him. Because he's afraid, but he want to make it seem it's everybody else. He going through the bullshit, but he fucked up, but he want to make, not take accountability and make it seem like everybody else. But even though everybody else see the truth, it's hard for her to see the truth because she's tied to him. So his thought, hit where, where's that? Everything of his, he's mirroring her. Looking in the mirror, all he's, damn. Mm. It's not, mm, it's not her. This is not her. This is his doing. This is not her doing. She has no clue. No clue. This person is smarter than y'all know. Y'all gave this motherfucker zero credits because that's how fucked up this person came around like he really at the bottom of the bottom not knowing all, the, all along. This person wiser than the wise. I'm just saying beauty sleep this person can't even take a beauty nap is what i'm hearing this person needs to rest a good night's sleep and this person that this narcissist has this impact sleeping at a park and this impact need to lay down and on a fucking bed at least indoors somewhere and get a good night's sleep because her body needs it. Her body's drained, not to mention he's draining it constantly, multiple different ways. can't get that. She can't get no beauty sleep. He got multiple ways he's draining her. To her eyes, he's her hero. Of course he's her hero. He ain't gonna let nobody fuck her over, screw her over, talk to her anyway, disrespect her. He gonna be the first one ready to fight them. Are you kidding me? Because that's like they, they doing it to himself. Because of what he did in the spirit to attach himself to her. See, so she may look at it, oh, my man got my bag. Yeah, 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 don't fuck with me. So now in her head, like, yeah, no matter what, my man got my back and da, da, da. He got to have your back. 
Because in our reality, that fuck shit is happening to him too. Because he fucking tied himself to you. So when they disrespect you, they disrespecting him. And since he a fucking narcissist, he just can't have that, can he? I'm done with this reading. Y'all have a blessed day. Thank y'all. I'd like to thank you, your warriors, my warriors, and the most high for this reading. Y'all have a blessed full day. All right.